Hello all. Uh, this video is going to be on the uh, latest version of Arch Linux Midfinger Edition. I just wanted to go through some of the changes and some of the documentation and maybe to, to confirm some stuff. So I have documentation set on the desktop instead of all these uh, individual text files. Just put it in one folder. So uh, the post install. Uh, the reason I asked to uh, use a sudo um, update DB is for mlocate uh, just to find packages on your system because when it's first installed um, and you're a new user um, the, up, the database has to be updated so that's the first thing so control alt sudo update DB nothing will return but every time you install a bunch of new packages for example you might want to do that once in a while the next thing is I mentioned before it's a mirror list uh, just put in uh, single quotes your country you can sort by rate so you can put this all into a terminal and just change this to whatever country you're in and if it's more than one word put it in single quotes actually even if it's one word you can still use the single quotes all right um, you can back it up first with this command at the top here and then run this with your country uh, more on the bash aliases. I changed uh, sync to update the mirrors to psync because sync is actually a command for Arch Linux. Uh, so after doing that and updating your mirrors, run psync. Press tab. You'll have to type the full word in. And it'll update the mirrors. And remember this is a 64-bit only. And it has multi-lib and it also has the um, AUR, Arch Linux user repository as well. So you can use Yowart, which is installed. And the next thing is uh, check for updates is uh, PackU. So alias PackU is pseudo pacman-su. You can put SYU. So anyway, PackU. And I know there's at least one update. Now there's three. Okay. And YouTube DL an icon theme and SQL light and then after that uh, things are updated uh, if this was a kernel update uh, reboot but uh, it isn't so we're fine so far I include a script called post clean and it just uh, clears out the icon and font caches and it's already pseudo for you so you don't have to type in password just type in post and a dash clean and zoom in here Press tab there, and and it will uh, fix that up for you. It's uh, some of the stuff uh, from the Arch ISO as well is there, and it'll uh, clean those out as well. So in df dash h, you see there's two uh, gigabytes used. Uh, the next thing is to uh, configure locale purge. Uh, I've I've had videos on this before, but I'll step through this again because it is. Uh, a nice space saver. <laughs> so the the shortcut is LCP, the alias locale purge, and you'll get this message message the first time you have to configure this. So you just uh, just take this line here, just copy and paste that in, and then just type sudo leafpad and then that uh, directory file. And press enter and it says need configuration config first just press home or whatever just after um, just before the word n I mean the n letter needs configuration first put a pound sign hashtag or whatever you want to call it in there and go down right down to the bottom and whatever you don't want uh, you delete okay um, so all I'm going to use is ENUS and EN US, English US, uh, UTF-8. So the rest I'm going to just highlight those and delete, save, and close. Now I'm run LCP again and you probably get another message. Okay, there's uh, French or whatever, different languages. Won't be touched until you reconfigure locale purge with this command. And the alias for that is LCC just to save you time and then run LCP again and it'll clean up a few more encodings and 
about 200 or so megabytes have been cleared there. Now, um, I also included this command uh, to remove the open source drivers, video drivers, sorry. Um, and if you install it on your main system, be careful of this because you'll have to reinstall them again and don't reboot until you have them installed. But this will clear out the uh, all the extra open source videos, video drivers, like you only have one usually maybe two at most uh, so if it's NVIDIA you can use the open source or you can use the proprietary same with AMD but install and configure those first before rebooting if you run this command since this is VirtualBox this command will not affect anything so I'm just going to take this line and copy it into the terminal paste it in and press enter and it's not a lot, but it's enough. And those are all removed. Another note I wanted to get to is if you do install this and you have whatever video drivers, you don't need the VirtualBox guest utils anymore, right? Because you're, you're not running in VirtualBox, you're running on your system. So you uninstall those, uh, disable the VirtualBox service, and then remove uh, the VirtualBox config module loading because if you don't you'll get an error message and you'll be wondering what what is it is it's a virtual box trying to boot it's a module in addition to running those uh there's leftover input devices um you could probably remove most of them if uh if you're upgrading your uh video driver but uh, in virtual box for example we don't have input void or joystick uh, you might have Synaptics, which is the uh, laptop, so may, you might want to leave that one out. And then uh, XF86 uh, input VM mouse, that's VMware, not VirtualBox. So you just take, I'll take this line, and I'll put this in the description. Let's copy and open the terminal, and pack R is pseudo pacman dash R and S. So we'll just and those are cleared and moving on um, there is a bug I can't fix it sorry it's a GTK bug uh, for your network uh, ma network manager if you click on it it will not stay you have to hold it down to select something uh, like I said I can't do anything about that so if you're wondering why that's doing that it's because of a bug so hopefully that will be uh, fixed soon and moving on to the software choices, as I mentioned uh, before, I just want to keep it low, the uh, the disk size low, so it fits on a CD. There's things like Xterm, uh, UXterm, and under Internet, these things, you can hide them. I have a video on it as well. It's basically the same routine as you um, do in the video I had, which was in GNOME or GNOME. You just open your file manager, just type in the... Uh, directory which is USR share applications press enter and see these here if you right click and in this version you can edit as root go down right down to the bottom just type in no a capital N for no and capital D for display equals and then small case letters true save and let's copy that because we're going to do that in a couple of more. So we'll just copy that and then save, quit, and right click on this one, edit as root, page down to the bottom, paste that in, save and close. So we'll go back to our start, internet, and all we have here is just one entry, Firefox, without this stuff. All right, uh, finally, the, the system time is wrong, if you noticed. Well, maybe you wouldn't notice, uh, but between the my actual desktop and virtual desktop is uh, there's a difference. Uh, that's because I left it at UTC, so you have to configure it yourself. So again, open terminal, terminal, Control Alt T, S U for super user, and uh, just R M, Etsy, E T C, whatever, um, local time. Okay, and then uh, you see the time date. Oh, uh, 
time date control you can still see it's set all to uh, universal so let's fix that so from the arch uh, documentation when you're installing it's ln-s and a slash usr share zone info uh, your continent and uh, say New York or something it's close enough to me and then to that same directory Etsy slash local whoop, local time and then uh, run the uh, time date CTL you can see now the real time is 1638 24 seconds which is correct from here and you can see it's here okay if it doesn't work uh, and you get uh, you get the uh, UTC which is incorrect you can change the uh, it's a RTC lo local so say we do a time date CTL help just uh, type in time date CTL and then set local RTC it's the blue line so it would be a one for yes to set it to local time now the login screen apologies I completely forgot to include the theme um, but it still works uh, you should see the time and stuff up on the top bar but it, it's not there uh, the reason I include this is so you can change to your user your username with all the same settings intact so like there's another count test which doesn't have a logo okay so let's log into that and the password for test is test so you log in it's going to ask you just use default config whatever you wish it's only temporary and I included the how to change user on the desktop here you can uh, wrap the word here and the instructions are here so we've already rebooted uh, so we open the terminal and type su and you type uh, you can get type this in user mod dash MD I've been through this several times home your new your name that you want and the old name which is midfinger and then the same idea user mode dash L new name old name which is midfinger uh, type in a password and uh, restart and then delete the old the, this test account so let's go through that su enter and user mod dash MD slash home slash your new name do not put a slash after this new name and your old name which in this case is mid figure and then user mode mod sorry dash L new name old name and then your password for your new name and just alt F4 and alt R restart the computer okay now it's going to default to test but we want the new user with the new password log in there we go the theme is the same the settings are the same everything is happy okay and so to finalize that uh, su rm dash r uh, slash home test you can remove that directory and then user de del test so that should uh, sum up uh, the changes and some of the configuration you may want to do in this uh, arch Linux minted finger edition release version dot one two <laughs> and I will get to the conky script uh, as uh, someone asked me to do I'll do a video on that as well okay so again thank you so much to everyone that's trying this out and helping me out with this and I, I appreciate it very very much and uh, anyone else that's out there watching this and just for something to do to watch thank you and so thank you to everybody for watching and uh, I'll talk to you soon and bye for now